All right, a good evening, everyone. This is Senior Forecaster Cameron back here again, and um, I just I was gonna make a live video, but I decided to make the video blog tonight, uh, just to go over everything that we need to uh, touch base on in terms of the potential winter weather here tonight. Um, as we've been talking about all day long, there is a winter weather advisory out for the majority of western and northwestern Arkansas here. Uh, please note the one down here in far southwestern Arkansas is not an up. This is not an updated uh, map. The one in far southwestern Arkansas is now until noon on Wednesday here guys so uh, winter weather is expected tomorrow sleet snow freezing rain changing over the rain um, especially for central and south Arkansas but I'm very concerned about this area in here and we'll go ahead and draw it out for you guys here and this is the area that I would keep a very very close eye on um, over the next I say six to eight hours here guys because um when this area really starts taking off as we get towards wednesday and even the wednesday night here guys i want to stress that that this is going to go all the way through these winter weather advisories uh some of them are for wednesday yes but the one from mina to danville clarksville jasper Har harrison melbourne marshall uh clinton those are going to be the ones that's going to go all the way until thursday morning because what's going to end up happening is your short way is going to your short way is going to uh, get out of here. Um, well, not really get out of here. Excuse me. Your shortwave is going to be moving through the state and it's going to run into ridging. And this is the exact same ridging I was talking about before. So we're just going to draw this out. So it's going to run into ridging out here towards the east. So as the shortwave is trying to move, it's going to run to that, that forcing. And what's going to end up happening is where temperatures are still going to remain right around at 31, 32 degrees at the higher elevations. Of northern Arkansas, northwestern Arkansas, this is going to be the area you're going to have to keep a very, very close eye on here uh, for the potential of seeing some significant ice accumulation up here, particularly in the higher elevations. And I, I wouldn't be shocked to see ice storm warnings go up during the overnight hours tonight, but winter weather advisors have been placed for that area for the potential of uh, sleet, snow, and a potential of freezing rain here, guys. But I just don't be shocked if you wake up tomorrow morning and there's ice storm warnings out for that area here, guys. So just keep that in mind. If you're there to Harrison, the Jasper, Clarksville, Clinton, and the Marshall area, this is the area I'm keeping a very, very close eye on for the potential of winter, uh, not winter weather, excuse me, for the potential of significant um, ice accumulations here. But for our folks in uh, El Dorado to the metro, this is the area that I would probably draw a lie on um, that's probably the wrong way to draw the line. Give me one second here. This would be the area I would draw the line to see winter precipitation here from the metro down to El Dorado up to Melbourne points west. Fay Fayetteville, Fort Smith, Bina, De Queen, Tetracana. This would be the area that I would keep a very, very close eye on for the potential of winter weather. If you're on the east side of this line, you are going to have mainly a cold rain. And the reason why I say a cold rain for eastern Arkansas as this this band of precipitation pushes into the natural state, temperatures are going to warm up. This is going to be one of those events that temperatures are going to slowly warm up throughout the duration of the event. So you're going to see snow, sleet, freezing rain, over to all rain, uh, particularly in the southern and eastern half of the state here, guys, um, as we progress into Wednesday night and early Thursday morning as warm air infection eventually takes over. But what I'm very concerned about, like I talked about before, is in this area here where the cold air infection could hold on just long enough to provide some significant ice accumulations up here in Jasper, Matt Marshall, Clinton, over towards uh, the Clarksville area, just north of I-40. So uh, that's something that we'll just have to uh, keep a very, very close eye on here, guys. But that's the reason why I'm concerned about this area. But for our folks in eastern Arkansas, I got that question earlier. Uh, why is it stalling out across north central Arkansas, but um, eastern Arkansas is going to get it later on Wednesday, but that that's just the situation with this event. It's a very, very weird type setup with this event here, guys, but this is what we're dealing with uh, for the potential winter weather here, guys. So here's the HRR. I'm going to make this video blog uh, relatively short, but I'm going to get straight to the point. Here's the HRR, and uh, one, I want to note something about the HRR, okay? The HRR, one, busted badly with temperatures today. So temperature-wise, the HRR does not have a good handle on right now. 
uh, that's that were to go the same with any kind of model. It's not going to be 100% on temperatures, but I would say the NAM has a little better handle on temperatures right now than the uh, the HRR, which kind of is kind of backwards a little bit. You would think the HRR will have the better handle versus the NAM right now, but that's just the situation we're dealing with here. So, and also one more thing I want to add to this is that the moisture is starting to creep in a lot quicker than what we were first anticipating here guys so there we are right around uh five in the morning there's your precipitation band i'm going to draw this out for you guys so this is going to stretch from northeastern texas all of western arkansas up into kansas here so there's your your precipitation your sleet snow and freezing rain what everybody's been anticipating um over the last day or so here guys so there's your precipitation it pushes into the natural state here guys and this is why right in here i stop it right at El Dorado, Little Rock, up to Melbourne. Watch, as this progresses into the natural state, it goes from sleet, snow, freezing rain, to all rain, um, as this pushes into the natural state here, guys. Please keep in mind, the HRR is struggling big time with temperatures right now, but this is the reason why, right in here, I'm gonna show you that, right in that same area I drew out, that's the area I'm keeping a very close eye on because temperatures do not get above freezing here. And that's going to be in the higher elevations. But I'm going very, very concerned about the potential of significant ice accumulations up there. But that's just the HRR. I'm going to show you the wrap model real fast here. And I'm going to show you the NAM here in just a little bit. But um, as I said before, this is where we're going to keep a very, very close eye on here. So here's the wrap model. All right. And this is the latest wrap model, by the way. And it takes this system. Um, dives it down into Texas here, and you can tell before lunch, everything is rain except for the higher elevations of northwest Arkansas here, guys. So once we get past the morning hours, it appears with the latest guidance is that everything will change over to rainfall. This is not going to be a very prolonged event for the natural state, except if you live in the far northern um, corner of Arkansas here, guys. And this should be getting out of here as we get towards the day on Thursday. And what I'm going to keep a very very close eye on here i'm going to show you with the nam here in just a little bit is with this upper level disturbance is going to drop down from the midwest and could bring the potential of additional snowfall across northern arkansas as you get towards um late thursday night and early friday morning here guys but this is why i'm going very concerned about the potential of freezing rain here this is with the wrap model i'm going to show you real real fast here and it's backed off significantly it had a good bit of um freezing rain across that area here but this is the area that i'm gonna have to keep a very close eye on here because goddess is kind of keeping that freezing rain around um that general area here so uh we're gonna keep a very close eye on here like i said it's very good news that it's not suggesting those high ice totals anymore uh that's just meaning that the warm air vetchen may be trying to come in a lot quicker than the cold air vetchen or it could mean that we could be dealing with a little bit more snowfall than um, the ice, which is always good news here, guys. So there's a wrap, and it appears that the the wrap is trying to throw out almost five inches of snow over here in far northern Arkansas. We'll just have to keep a very close eye on that. That's if it stalls out. I think some sleep totals may be mixed in uh, with this. So if you have sleep mixed in with that, you're going to cut that in half, which is probably going to eat up right around two, two and a half inches of snow and almost two inches of, of um, sleet on top of that. So uh, there's going to be a lot of snow totals here that's going to appear as snow, but it's going to be more than likely sleet totals because it's going to be the atmosphere is going to be warming up throughout the duration of this event. So that's something you just have to keep a very close eye on here, guys. But mainly for the western one half of Arkansas from El Dorado, Little Rock up to Melbourne, hurts my points west. If you're in eastern Arkansas, it's going to be a cold rain for you guys. I hate saying that for y'all, but that's the type of situation we're dealing with with the system. Unless this, this moisture can get here, I mean, extremely fast. It'll have to get here within the next, I say, three to four hours before um, we start talking eastern Arkansas getting winter weather. But um, at this time, it looks eastern Arkansas getting, win getting cold rain. Central Arkansas from El Dorado to Little Rock, Melbourne. Potential freezing rain, sleet going over the rainfall. Western Arkansas, you will start out with snow, sleet, freezing rain, basically a, a mixed bag of precipitation, and then it will transition over to rainfall, except for the higher elevations of far northwestern Arkansas here, guys. Uh, right around that Clinton, um, Marshall area, uh, Van Buren County. I'm about to keep a very close eye on that area for the potential of uh, some 
decent ice accumulations. I know God is not suggesting that, but I'm just growing very concerned because when I'm seeing what precipitation um, runs is that it wants to keep that freezing rain over that area for a prolonged period of time. So that's something we would have to keep a very close eye on here. So there's the wrap model. Now I'm going to go over to the NAM. Now this is the Zero Z NAM model. And what the NAM wants to do, like I said before, it's a little quicker with the moisture than the HR in the uh, wrap. Okay, so what the NAM does, it brings that shield of precipitation in right around 5, 6 o'clock in the morning for western Arkansas. By 8 o'clock, it's pushing into central. If this happens, if this particular situation happens, you're going to get winter precipitation stretching from northern Arkansas down to southern Arkansas. So um, just keep that in mind. And what the NAM model wants to do, and this is the absolute worst case scenario, this is the reason why I'm throwing almost red flags for north central Arkansas, is that the 546 line kind of hangs around central Arkansas here. All right. You've got moisture coming in. You've got WAA, which is warm air vetsion. You've got cold air vetsion. So you've got warm air vetsion, and then you've got cold air vetsion. And normally when those two meet along that 546 line, you get ice. And this is where ice totals can really start building up in this area here. So um, like I said before, I'm growing very, very concerned about that area. And we will keep, keep an eye on the latest. If there's ice storm warnings that go up, we will let you guys know. Uh, but at this current time, the NAM model is kind of the outlier, suggesting all that ice up in north central Arkansas. But this is what I'm talking about here. And this is with the uh, the NAM model. And it really wants to put almost an inch of freezing rain up there. And if that happens, that's ice storm. That's a, that's, that's, that's a straightforward ice storm right there. Uh, you can look at isolated power outages. It could do a lot of damage. A quarter of ice can do damage. You start talking half an inch up to an inch. You start talking... Uh, more significant damage with that. I'm not saying this is going to be a catastrophic ice event. It's not going to be like the 2000 um, ice storm, but um, I'm growing very concerned about the potential of um, decent ice accumulations out there in north central Arkansas uh, with this. So there's a NAM, and I'm going to show you snowfall totals here in just a little bit. Snowfall is mainly going to be for our folks in eastern Oklahoma and western Arkansas here, but for our folks in northern Arkansas, I've had questions throwing up about this when that upper level system starts diving southeast and pushes that cold front through whatever moisture is left could mean the potential of snowfall and if that happens and there's a good bit of moisture left we could get a statewide flurry event basically what that means is that the the modified arctic air is going to be trying to uh, squeeze out any moisture that's left and you could see the potential of snow, snow flurries for the, the majority of the state late Thursday night or Friday morning if we were to go with the NAM. And it gets it out of here as you get towards the day on Friday and the Friday afternoon and Saturday morning here, guys. So, um, and that would put it into this event. And then temperatures after that skyrocket. If we go from 30s and 40s to 60s to near 70 by the end of next week here, guys. So that's all I got for you guys tonight. I do appreciate you guys for um, tuning into this video blog here tonight. We will have more um, up-to-date coverage on this potential winter weather event. Like I said before, for our folks in western Arkansas, snow and sleet going over the freezing rain, and then all rain, central Arkansas from El Dorado, Little Rock up to Melbourne, potential freezing rain, sleet, not really looking for snow because warm air vets is going to get to you guys uh, before that happens. But we're going to keep a very close eye on here, and then eastern Arkansas is going to be a cold rain. Everybody should change over to all rain by this time tomorrow night. And then for far northern Arkansas, higher elevations, um, I'm going to keep a very close eye on for the potential of freezing rain, a prolonged freezing rain event for that area here, guys. So uh, thank you guys for tuning into this video blog, and y'all have a great rest of your Tuesday evening.